CFTO's Bernie McNamee reports. The lead-laden earth moved in South Riverdale today. The move was one of celebration as provincial, municipal, and neighborhood officials dug in to launch one of the largest cleanup projects ever in Ontario. Over the next two years, soil will be removed from as many as 1,000 properties in the highly industrialized East End community. For the past 15 years, residents have been pushing both government and industry for the cleanup, following studies which showed lead levels in the blood of children tested 50% higher than normal. For resident Geraldine Pelly, there's relief today, but also concern. My one daughter was brought up around here, Christine, and she uh, was, it was a very hyper kid growing up. And she did have a couple of bad side effects from it. Environment specialists have been pointing the finger at this plant as the main source of the lead pollution, Canada Metals, which recycles lead from batteries. Officials here at Canada Metals were not invited to today's celebration. The Ministry of the Environment is still seeking a major financial commitment from the company toward the soil cleanup, a commitment Canada Metals is refusing to make. Company President but Peter Irwin maintains his factory isn't solely to blame. Nature. It's uh, been caused over 50 years at least of industries, public works and automobiles uh, emitting lead to various degrees in this neighborhood. Irwin says Canada Metals is prepared to contribute to the cleanup, but not the 30% figure demanded by the provincial government. Environment Minister Jim Bradley says he's prepared to take the company to court if it doesn't pay a substantial amount of the cleanup cost. Bernie McNamee, CFTO News.